Hello and welcome to Let's Play Breath of Fire 4 Blind. Never played Breath of Fire 4 actually. Uh, only 1, 2, and 3. And to be honest, well, I didn't like 2 that much. 3 was okay. And 1, 1 was simple, but it was fun. Hmm. So we're watching the opening here. Obviously that's Ryu. Um, is he having a flashback? I'm only speculating here. Of course that's going to be Nina. So they definitely took a more anime style here. We got one arm dude. Oh boy. Hmm. They didn't subtitle this either. Oh. Is he like Tebow? <laughs> Look, you get a robot. Well, you got a robot in Breath of Fire 3, too. Since I don't speak Japanese, I can just say just what you said. Hmm. And we're just sort of taking in the atmosphere here for a little bit. And that's about it. Um, Breath of Fire 4. Press Start button. Okay, let's start this up. Start. Ah, here we go. Okay. I, uh, I had it on the um, <laughs> DualShock 2 configuration, and this game didn't support that, so it wouldn't work. Okay, select. New game. Apparently, I can't even go to options. Oh, oh there we go. Um, that's an odd way to do it. Uh, hmm. Oh, oops. Hold on. Ah, oh, there we go. I had left and right reversed. Yeah, that wouldn't work so well. Let's check out options. Um, okay. Let's see. We've got buttons, screen, default, background is maxed, and sound effects are maxed. But I dropped the master volume of the emulator down to about 20%, so we should be okay. Um, okay. Uh, we're, okay, just go to defaults. Oh, sure. Camera. Oh, hold on a second. I'm going to have to change that. Now that we're done screwing around with the configuration, let's start a new game. Uh, yeah, why not? Okay. Is it supposed to be black? He has a sister. <laughs> well, that'd be new. I guess this is a different Ryu. Looks like Tipo and Nina. Look. Oh, it's Cray. I should rename him Tipo. <laughs> I mean, not Tipo. You know, I'm talking about a shooting star. It's not Tipo. The the guy. The the guy from Breath of Fire Three. The, the cat. We'll find her, won't we, Craig? And it nods. I swear it. We'll find her. Everyone's a furry in this world. But you know what? I don't care. Furries are people, too. And androgynous, bisexual, group of people. I think it's a requirement. <laughs> I'm not really sure what approach they're taking with this game. This is a PlayStation 1 game, in case uh, anyone's wondering. Just like Breath of Fire 3 was a PlayStation 1 game, so is this. Chapter 1, Awakening. I don't know if I want to skip this or not. 
uh, for the sake of can, um, progressing faster. It's hot out here. Who knows what accent to give her? But she's not a kid. She's all right. It must be a bitch to open up. Yeah, it's probably better if we don't move around during the day. Well, yeah, in the desert you're supposed to go in the early mornings and uh, early evenings. And you're supposed to sleep during the hottest part of the day. <laughs> Not much of a change if it's there today or tomorrow. See, he must, he must put fly holes in the back of his pants, like the holes in boxer shorts, for his tail. Dun, 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 dun. Are dragons now common? Hmm. I guess so. I guess all the giant beasts are dragons. <laughs> I don't think you're going to outrun the thing. It flies by illogical... <laughs> It's, it's hovering, as if it defies gravity. Of course, um, you're, in an, you're in an impractical device either. There's no such thing as a sand skimmer. And there's no such thing as, as a, a creature that can swim in sand like as if it were water. The closest I've ever seen is a lizard or a snake that can actually dive into the sand a little bit. Oh! But it doesn't um, swim in it. It just sort of wiggles in really fast and then sits there. Does that to cool off? It's a little bit cooler under the sand than it is on top of it, obviously. But hey, anime, you gotta love it. They presume that the desert is swimmable by some creature, you know, which it isn't, of course. <laughs> Sand's gotten into everything. This is not dirt. Dirt's dirty. Sand is sand. <laughs> Need spare pots. Hmm. Well, we haven't seen it since then either. What's the power source of your little sand skimmer there? Walking distance of towns along the desert border. And we need water. You can find the pots we need? <laughs> pots. <laughs> well, there's one small problem. Money, probably. Uh, if we leave our sand flyer here, it could get stolen by bandits. <laughs> exactly. The sweat drop. One of you are going to have to stay, and it would have to be him. Oh, come on, just drag it with you. Hoist it up. <laughs> Where's Gar when you need him? He'd just pull that thing. He'd be the oxen of your party. Gar looks like a dragon to me. Do you think he was more of a griffin? A skin griffin? Because griffin is supposed to have feathers. S Sarari. Well, this was the opening. Good luck. I'm counting on you. I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> Looks like he's grabbing her tit right there. <laughs> it's the king sword. Well, of course you will. There will be random monster encounters, of course. I wish that they had done more sprite work. Oh boy, now there's a compass. Okay, I have control now. Oh boy. I wish they had done more sprite work like in Secret of Mana, where you could fight enemies on the map instead of having to go into random encounters turn-based. Nothing's wrong with turn-based, but... Oh, it's linear. You can't explore the world. It's all linear. This was this was definitely them getting very, very fucking lazy. Or trying to copy FF Tactics, maybe. And you can get attacked. Oh, boy. Along the route. Now they're doing the whole Legend of Lagoon thing. If you've ever played Legend of Lagoon. Or Legia. Legend of Lagoon, yeah. Okay, so she comes across Desert Jogobos. The size of that hole. That's what he said. <laughs> Merchant's goods must have fallen in. And she falls in. It's hard to climb up a sand pit like that. And just like this. 
That was a chest. Oh, there's gonna be a monster here coming out of that hole. Oh, come on, it's predictable. Look, it's cloaked. I didn't equip the sword. There's something here. Yes, it's... It's gonna uncloak now? Hmm, it's a... Looks like a lizard. It's like one of those things from uh, Legend of Ligeia that you fight. Use that king sword. Ch come on, chop its head off. It's not attacking. Looks like its horns are broken. It's not a monster, I guess. Now it's going to attack, now that you uh, dropped your guard. I guess not. Ah, uh, bending light around it. And that scene was entirely pointless. Well, I don't know because... A person? I don't know because... Oh look, it's naked Ryu. Uh... Is he supposed to be naked or wearing a thong flap? Who knows? <laughs> Whoa! Is she gonna blush? Is it gonna be like a little blushy thing? Uh, nope, there's gonna be a little sweat thing, like, ooh, nervous. <laughs> Do you think you could put on some clothes? Find something in the carriage there. Do I have control of him? And he looks down. Okay. This has been one long cutscene. Basically, I haven't done much. Not working with the merchant. Okay, so he, he finds some clothes. He even found a bandana for his hair. How'd it get here? How'd you get in the hole? <laughs> Did you see that monster? And then he's nervous. No, I didn't see any of that crap. Oh, look, they have different uh, face emocons, little different avatars. Yeah. That's right. My name is Nina. I am from India. What's your name? Oh, he's going to be the silent protagonist again. I was hoping they'd give him a personality. I mean, come on, we've evolved since the silent protagonist, haven't we? Um, Cloud wasn't the silent protagonist. Squall wasn't. Okay, that's a bad example. But, you know, I'm just... I guess I'll... I don't know. It just it seems that they should have personalities. Use your wings. There you go. And she, she has wings, so... Why would she worry about falling in a hole? He has nowhere to go, probably. And, yep, how'd I guess? No, I'm not lost. I just don't know where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, it does. Admit it. You're lost. Well. I guess... Alright, Ryu. Why don't you come with me? Yeah, well, he just agrees. Yeah. Ryu got King Sword? Oh, jeez. You don't just give that to a total stranger. <sighs> See... The wings of the Windia people, either they work or they're vestigial or they don't have wings. I mean, they, they can never get that canon consistent. I wonder if I can go back. Um, there's nothing here now except for the crib. There was a chest there! Alright, look, we're, we're like ten minutes into the game, it seems, but plus the cutscene. If that timer up there is any indication. Oh, uh, boy. Let's enter the cliff. After this, I think we'll stop this. Get my initial first impressions. I've got stuff to do anyway, so... But so I just wanted to get a, a first first thoughts, and um, I'll probably continue playing this. Let's see. We have to go over these cliffs. Well, someone conveniently built a bridge for you. Oh, there's going to be random encounters. I didn't even equip the king sword. I just thought about it after I'd taken a few steps. And Oh, it's Igu's. Uh, yeah, why not? Smack. They do look a little better. I guess the PlayStation had better graphics than... You won a great victory. That wasn't great. Uh, are there going to be masters, so you want to do minimalistic and only rank up a little bit? Oh, it, oh, looks like you have a special when you hit triangle. Her special? Hovering. Uh, okay, um... Square is... Whatever that is. I'm going to have to equip... Uh, 
Are you sure to equip with the best stuff? Yeah, sure. I don't think it's gonna change anything. You still got the king sword and clothing and nothing. Yeah, we don't have anything in our inventory. Okay. Um. Apparently, there's gonna be six. Oh no, I wanted to put. I wanted to put him in front because I want to see what he does. Probably swings his sword. Um. Change. Normal. Battle. Uh, normal order. Okay, I get it. I get it. There we. I get it. Okay, this works. Um, and apparently they already they already tell you in the game there's going to be six characters. No surprises or anything. They got lazy here. What's his special? I figured. Okay. Can we rotate the camera? Um. Yeah, we can rotate the camera, but I can't figure out. Okay, okay. L and R do it. There's only so much you can do. Okay, just, just... Ah, oh, fuck. It's a little bit harder than it looks, for some reason. Um, maybe I just got stiff controls. And apparently there's goodies up there. You, you know you're hardwired to get loot. Uh, more random battles, and what's with the slow walking pace? Okay, let's just attack. It's really weird because the X button is the attack button. And that's the one at the bottom. You'd think it'd be the circle button, the one on the right. I don't know. That's just me. Oh, speaking of that. Okay, I gotta level up. I'm probably screwing myself, but anyway. Let's see if there's a run button. Let's hold down buttons and figure. Yeah, there is. Okay. Um, Great. How do I get over? How do I get to the goodies? I want to get to the goodies. Are they just going to be Igus? Okay, we've we've seen all these already. I'm not going to show any more random battles. That's it. This is the this is the last one. It's all going to be Igus. Oh boy, no more random battles. And they still call the money Zenny. And since my name is Zen on YouTube, Zenny makes it think like they're talking about me, like the cutesy way that a girl would say hi, Zenny. You know. And I'm going to edit out combat footage. Oh, well, this is a new enemy. I won't edit this out. Even though, look, it's called a cap, and apparently we're going to kick the shit out of it. Yeah. I guess it'd be fine to, um... I don't know, um... Try to come back here and see what they have to steal, if anything, but... Uh, from now on, if I get a repeat battle, it's going to be edited out footage. Okay. Oh, no, cutscene. <laughs> I sounded so... Looks like we've run out of road. Don't worry, we should be able to jump over this. Oh, the X button. Okay. Well, that was... Okay. I want to get those goodies. Good thing we're able to jump. She likes high places. He doesn't like high places. She has wings! You've just established her special is hovering in the air. And now she falls down? She could have hovered down slowly, but apparently she... Ah, see, look. I, I told you. Okay. <laughs> that sweat. No, I didn't do that. Um, he can see your wings. That was a derp moment by Ru. Or Ryu. Oh, what a retard. You can clearly see her wings. How was that heroic? It was him showing how much of a derp he is. Oh, man. Oh, exposition. Okay, um... Because, like, the game ignores the fact that you just use the special. Oh, I bet you anything. Um, okay, I don't like the way this is working, um, the button configuration, but what am I going to do, right? Oh, shit. Y yeah, uh, what is this? Oh, attack, defense, uh, agility, and um, magic power. Okay, okay, you can swap between views. That's kind of convenient, I guess. Come on, 
chop this down. I can't chop this down. Oh, come on. It was like a mulberry plant, doesn't it? Oh, anyway. Apparently we can camp here. A little cave. What is she doing? Testing the wind? A fire, eh? What are you gonna get wood for a fire? And that's how I ended up here. Where'd you get the blanket? Where'd you get the wood, the blanket, and the flint and tinder? Oops. He's lost. I'm not lost. I just don't have a memory. Look. Yeah. Hey, someone who knows you. People won't even know you here. Because you're traveling this direction. What makes you think people are going to know him? I don't know. Oh, the moon. It's huge. I live on Earth. The year the moon is quite small on our planet. About the size of your thumb, give or take, depending on how fat your thumb is. Roughly the size of a human thumb when you held it up ar at arm's length. Oh. And... Random temple, random beam of light. I, I really don't know what to say about this, because they haven't really explained a whole lot. Uh, it's gonna be a boss. Oh look, there's the enemy. I don't like this moon. It needs to be more red. Time hath come. Oh great, he's gonna talk like that. This, my lord majesty. <laughs> what kind of voice do you give something like that? Toward appear. That something is amiss. I don't know. Choose your own voice. And he wants to know where the uh, courtiers are, the priests. And no one raised a voice in green at your return. It's not important. They're mortals. Oh, if we, understand, if we try to understand their mind, we should spend an eternity. More pressing matter. So he resurrected after a given amount of time. Okay. The presence this far and still slumbering. Ah, but what we have sought these many ages. One clue, guard our place of rest. As you wish, sir. <laughs> Where are you going through? Where are you going? You go to our capital as it was planned. You're my crony, you will stay here. And then, you know, I didn't control this. Oh, now I control him. Alright, well that's the end of this one. I just wanted to get a feeling for this game. And again, it is blind. I'll do more of this. Um, I just... I like to make fun of these things right away. And oh, look, look at him, he's moving. He's got his little screensaver going. And he's meditating or something. Contemplating. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this as much as me I did making fun of it. Uh, I'm not making fun of it because I think it's a dumb game. I actually kind of like it so far. But I am finding a lot of things to poke fun at. So, uh, if you guys can take this, then continue watching. If you can't, well, um, you can just suffer through it, I guess. <laughs> Alright, see you next episode later.